entry-level niche fragrances. I talked about this a little bit on TikTok, but I want to give a more full in-depth review with some individual scents here. So we got masculine, feminine, unisex, and we're going to start with a fragrance that I was debating on putting on this list, and it's called Gris Charnel by BDK. Now, this is a very likable fragrance. It smells like tea, and then there's also some cardamom, which kind of adds a bit of a sexy flair to the fragrance. It's more on the feminine side, but the reason I was thinking about not adding it to this list is because the performance is ass, all right? The performance on this thing is like maybe three hours noticeably, but it falls off the skin fairly quickly. And if you're going to be putting down, you know, upwards of 150 on a fragrance, you kind of want something that's going to last a little bit longer. But if you are somebody that loves the smell of it and you just don't mind over spraying it, you can absolutely, absolutely, absolutely do that, all right? So as always, I'll put a discount link for all these fragrances in the description box below in case you're interested, and it's for global shipping as well. Next is an MFK fragrance called Gentle Fluidity Silver. Now, this is a unisex offering, and it just smells like a badass CEO. You know, it's more, I don't want to call it a fresh scent, but it is more airy. It's not like a heavy, sweet, spicy fragrance, but it's also not something I want to smell in the extreme high heat. Now, this to me is a nice office fragrance. And it's just for somebody that effortlessly kind of commands that attention. And I don't want to say in a work environment, but yeah, it, it smells like a leader. That's what that is what gentle fluidity silver smells like to me. It has that sort of dominance and a confidence to it that is very attractive. And this is also a quite unique smell. A lot of people, when they smell it for the first time, they're like, whoa, I've never smelled something like that before. I'm going to make it my signature scent. And for a while, this was my signature scent when I first smelled it. Next is Delina by Parfums de Marly. You're going to see a few Parfums de Marly's on this list because to me, Parfums de Marly is one of the best entry-level niche brands, especially if you're somebody that's coming from the designer side or even like Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret, and you want something that's high quality but you don't want to jump into something that's super polarizing, then Parfums de Marly has a lot of great offerings. Now, Delina is their feminine fragrance that smells like lychee and rhubarb. Now, if you've never smelled rhubarb before, it kind of is a bit of a sour note. Now, on all the women I've smelled Delina on, it's more of like a fruity fragrance with a touch of sweetness, but still very versatile. Like the performance with this easily goes over eight hours. It is like an all-star fragrance in the lineup, but there are some people that have complained that it smells way too sour on their skin, unfortunately. So and that's probably the rhubarb coming out because skin chemistry is a huge thing here. So you just have to be mindful of that. And by the way, in terms of performance with Gentle Fluidity Silver, I was getting over eight hours of performance on this as well. Okay, next up is a Killian fragrance called Black Phantom. Now, Black Phantom to me is my favorite fragrance from Killian that I've tried so far because it's just so daring, bold, and sexy. I remember somebody on TikTok before asked me, can you give me a Medusa fragrance, something that just like screams like powerful, mysterious, alluring, and that is exactly what Black Phantom does. If you have never smelled a niche fragrance before and you get your nose on this, it will totally just open your eye, open your eyes, open your nose, I don't know. It'll like just open your world to fragrances because it's just something that most people haven't smelled. You don't find this sort of stuff at Macy's, Sephora, Ulta, at, you know, Nordstrom. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Also, honorable mention to Love Don't Be Shy from this brand as well for the people that kind of want that sweet marshmallowy fragrance that kind of smells like Fruit Loops off the top, just a little bit, but nonetheless really good. Performance on this also goes past seven hours. And for me, I actually smell, I mean, I only spray a minimal amount because spraying even five of this would just be too much for me. Like I would get too nauseated with that, but this is definitely a nighttime cold weather fragrance. Okay. We've got another Parfums de Marly here called Layton, and this is more on the masculine side, by the way, Black Phantom, unisex fragrance. But Layton and a lot of other masculine fragrances from Parfums de Marly are actually, like, really 
popularly worn with women as well because at least to me i find their sweeter masculine sense to be better than their sweeter feminine sense so they are unisex in that regard but Layton is just this very easy to like apple fragrance that has some vanilla in the dry down as well and it's just really gorgeous like if there's a guy out there this is something that doesn't really fit a particular age range it doesn't matter if you're 18 you're in your 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s whatever you can rock Layton I actually gave this bottle to my 92 year old grandmother because she loved it that much she smelled it on me and she's like oh my god i like that can you spray it on me so i sprayed it on her and now this is her so i'm borrowing this bottle from her so that's just to show you that anybody can wear this fragrance so if you're someone that's looking for your very first niche scent and you want it to be sweeter a little bit more on the masculine side something very sexy mass appealing that when you go out it's going to turn heads people are going to really love it it's going to be sexy to women then i would really suggest you look into Layton because it is just, it's just like that fragrance. You know, like it's very hard to hate on this. I think the only hate I've seen with Layton has come from men. So unless you're trying to attract men, like if you want a boyfriend, then probably don't throw on Layton because they're the only ones that have complained about this smell. But if you are trying to attract women, Layton still smells very, very good. Now, We've got another unisex fragrance here that kind of skews a little bit more on the feminine side, in my eyes at least, and it's called Lamar by Kajal Perfumes, and this is a sweet pineapple fragrance. Like, God, this, this fills the room, all right? Now, if you're somebody that, yeah, you want a niche scent, but you want a powerhouse. You want something that when you walk through those doors, people will be able to smell you. That is going to be Lamar. The way that this lingers wherever you go is something that is going to make an unforgettable first impression. Like if you wear this on a date and let's say you spray it on your scarf or your sweater and you just leave it with your date or you leave it by accident, whatever you do, and you've got this on it, they are not going to forget this smell. It is just really, really good. It has a nice sillage and sillage means like a scent trail, right? So when you walk past people, they'll just follow that scent trail because it smells so good so very long lasting this thing pushes past 12 hours easy me saying 12 hours is more on the conservative side with the number but it pushes past that even further depending on how many sprays you do as well again this is something i would only do one spray of and that will last over 12 hours i've done one spray of this on clothes and it was still there the next day so be very careful with this fragrance it's sexy, it's just indulgent, and it makes people just want to be all up in your neck, you know? All right, we've got, what, another part from the Marley fragrance here. This one is for the people that enjoy fresh fragrances. It's called Meliora, and this is actually my favorite feminine Parfums de Marley scent. Does it last as long as Delina? No, it doesn't, and that's the Achilles heel of this scent is that it noticeably lasts on people like what they've told me and what my sister tells me because she's the one that wears this is around like that five hour mark but i still smell this lingering on her even past six hours and i still compliment her on it so be mindful that you would go nose blind to this fragrance if you don't smell it ask somebody that, that's around you that you trust if they could still smell you and i do have videos on how to apply a fragrance for that perfect scent bubble in case that's been a struggle with you regardless of whatever fragrance you wear okay so meliora is this fragrance that smells like red berries it has black currant, and then it has this champagne sort of vibe as well. So just imagine the freshest berries mixed with some champagne and you partying on a yacht and you own the yacht, okay? Because this is a rich fragrance. When I first smelled this, I was like, damn, this smells like a rich woman right here that has like a lot of fun. You know, work hard, play hard, that sort of thing. Like the rich, fun, like auntie. That's the vibe that I got with Meliora. And it's just till this day, so so good i i want parfums de marley to make more fragrances like this but i just i haven't smelled another one like meliora that was on the fresh side that i really really love now this will be the last parfums de marley all right this one here is called percival now percival i know it looks like Layton, but it's more of just the standard blue bottle and this is kind of like a grown-up version of that Fragrance by Abercrombie and Fitch, Fierce. That Remember that iconic fragrance back in the early 2000s that was blasting in the Abercrombie stores? If you're older, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It probably gave you a headache, but this is a more refined version of that fragrance, and it is very likable. Typically, when people smell this in stores like Neiman Marcus 
and Nordstrom, they are very drawn to it. In fact, I remember I was talking to a sales associate at Nordstrom and she told me that a lot of women that come in to smell the more masculine, this one's a more masculine fragrance, the masculine side of Parfums de Marly have really gravitated recently to Percival and they buy it for their significant others because they find it to be just very sexy. So again, really, really easy to like fragrance. If you're not down for a sweeter masculine scent, you want more of a fresh one, Percival is going to just be that fragrance for you. So really nice. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's, again, not my personal favorite, but as an entry level fragrance, this does the job and more. You will, it's just something you can wear all day, anytime, you know, any season, any occasion, it's going to fit that. So I call these chameleon fragrances because you can wear them for basically anything and it'll fit that mold easily, you know? So Percival, great scent. Next up is a Raja Parfums fragrance called Elysium. And I am going through this bottle. I love this fragrance so much. I wear it nonstop. And it's this fresh, fruity scent that to me smells like a pineapple lemon cocktail. That is what I get. To me, Elysium is the life of the party fragrance. Now, this changes from person to person because I think it's marketed as a masculine fragrance, right? But there are guys that tell me like, oh no, that's like way too feminine. And even women that tell me that they themselves wear it like me because it's just an easy to like fresh fragrance that it doesn't even smell masculine in the first place, you know? So if you want that fruity, fun, fresh scent, then you go for this one. This fragrance, whenever I've worn it to lunches and brunches and parties, I receive nonstop compliments on it. It's just something that everybody loves. Men, women, it does not matter. I have been stopped by people to like, they've asked me what the name of my fragrance is. And there's been family members and friends that have asked me to text me about the name of this fragrance. And then they look it up and they get sad because they see the price of it. But that's why you go on discount sites. So you don't pay full retail price for these things. And this is just amazing. I love layering it with Molecule 01. It's just such a banger. All right. Next up, we got a more affordable niche fragrance here called Intense Cafe by Montal. Now, if you're somebody that wants a powerhouse scent for a relatively good price with, you know, in comparison to a lot of other niche fragrances, then Montal is going to be your best friend. Now, this is, it's a coffee fragrance, but it also has rose petals in it. Just that, That's what it smells like, coffee with some rose petals. Now, it is a little bit of a synthetic fragrance, but to me, this is the type of scent that I personally find to be better in the air than up close, but people around me disagree because whenever I wear this fragrance and I give somebody a hug, their nose is in my neck for a long time and they are just deep sniffing my neck because it's just that kind of attractive fragrance. Now, Intense Cafe is marketed as a unisex scent. I do find it to be a little bit more on the feminine side, but honestly, a guy could easily pull this off. It's just something that just guys don't really wear in general. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing, but it's like majority of guys out there are wearing the Ambroxan Bomb fragrances like Sauvage and Bleu de Chanel. But if you roll up in like a sweet fragrance that's very seductive, you're gonna be a standout. And no, it's not gonna smell super feminine on you because skin chemistry varies from person to person. But this will easily perform over eight hours, really lovely fragrance. And they also have other things there like, I think it's Honey Oud. There's all, they have a ton of fragrances there. And I think the price point, I think when I first got this, it was around $80 or no, not 80. I think it was 80, but I've seen it now for like 120, but that's still in the designer like range when it comes to price. So it's still affordable in terms of niche fragrances. So you can check out Montal if you want to. Next up, oh, it's a personal favorite of mine right here. Salt and Pepper by Precious Liquid. Now, this is a bit more on the masculine side right here. It doesn't smell like seasoning, all right? I know when you hear the name, you're like, well, how would I want to smell like that? But the way this dries down, I cannot get enough of. Now, Salt and Pepper is a peppery fragrance, right? And then it has Ambroxan in the base, but it is a scent that drives women wild. Okay, and by the way, if I didn't mention it, this drives everybody wild, okay? Like, guys, girls, it does not matter. I was getting compliments from everybody wearing this fragrance. But with salt and pepper, this has women in a chokehold, all right? Similar to Layton, if you want a fragrance that's gonna be sexy to women and you are not trying to attract, 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 attract any dudes 
then you go with salt and pepper. Every single woman that has smelled this on me, and I'm including strangers as well, have loved it. I was stopped at Costco. I was randomly shopping at Costco, not randomly. I was shopping at Costco and this random lady was behind me and then she tapped me and she's like, can you tell me what the name of your fragrance is? I wanna buy that for my partner, it smells so good. And I was telling her it's called Salt and Pepper by Precious Liquid. And she looked at me really confused. She's like, where do you get that? Is that at Macy's? Is that, you know, she was asking at these local malls, but I told her, no, it's a niche scent. And that kind of made things even worse because she's like, niche, what does that even mean? You know, so again, people don't know niche fragrances, but this is something that is a niche scent, but people like women love it. Like seriously, stop in their tracks. I need to know that smell. It's very sexy. Love it. That, that sort of vibe. But yeah, oh, really, really good fragrance. My personal favorite from this brand. All right, now let me see. Oh, yeah, man, Sarah, Instant Crush. Now, Instant Crush is more of a feminine fragrance in my eyes. If you're somebody that likes the sweeter fragrances like Baccarat Rouge 540, you kind of like that sweet cotton candy-ish vibe, then I think you're going to like Instant Crush because it is, I think this is in the $100 range. It's not like a $200 fragrance, at least last I saw. Shit, I hope this isn't 210 right now. I saw this for like 140 but that was, the t last time I checked this price was a while ago, so I'm gonna have to double check that. But again, like, I have the links for that in case you guys want to compare it yourselves, but this one has really nice performance. We are talking past eight hours, and it is something that people have just really been hypnotized by. When women smell this, they want to wear it so much, and they do, and they get a lot of compliments from women, all right? I This scent, even to me when I smell it, it's just, it's just so nice. And if you're someone that doesn't like that Baccarat DNA, then stay away from this one, okay? Like this will not be your best friend by any means. And lastly is a more masculine fragrance here called Ferris by Kajal Perfumes. Now, if you're somebody that wants, oh, it's like a fresh citrusy fragrance that is super wearable, okay? Now, Ferris is something like, Percival, which is a chameleon fragrance that no matter what you do, where you go, if you're going on a date, going to school, going to work, going to the club, you can wear Ferris and rest assured everything will be all right because it just fits every single situation. Now, some people compare this to Dior Sauvage. They think it's like a niche version of it. I kind of see what they're saying with that. But to me, I don't think it smells like Sauvage. I just think that it's in that modern like masculine fragrance territory that a lot of, you know what I mean? Like the, what a modern guy smells like. It just falls in that sandbox, you know? And typically anything that falls in that sandbox is gonna be compared to things like Dior Sauvage. But to me, I much rather prefer Ferris because it's more refined and it's just smooth around the edges. To me, Sauvage can sometimes, the EDT in particular, is just a bit too screechy for my liking. And a lot of people out there don't really know how to apply fragrances, so they'll go overboard and it'll choke out the room. But this right here, this is like, this is like a sexy ass fragrance that is just so smooth. Like really, really smooth, really nice, not synthetic by any means. Super gorgeous. All right, and if I didn't mention it already, because that pretty much wraps it up. But with the fragrances like Salt and Pepper, in case you're newer to this channel, the owner actually reached out to me because he's like, holy shit, a lot of your followers have been buying our fragrances and I wanna run a special deal, deal for them. So with my followers only, the code is Melissa40 and you get Precious Liquid Limited Collection fragrances off for $40 and nobody else has that deal. So that is the cheapest that you can get a fragrance from Precious Liquid in the world. And that dude is just super nice. He also made Oud Wood by Tom Ford, um, really popular perfumer, but I really appreciate that he appreciates you guys um, and yeah, I'm very happy to kind of share that deal with you all so you could take advantage of that. You know what I mean? Save some money if you're going to buy these bougie ass scents. But anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.